Hey there, this is Dr. Doug Willen. This is my daily vlog coming from New York City. I live in Brooklyn, but practice in New York. Haven't been doing that much practice lately, as you could imagine. Um, let's see. Uh, this was me Tuesday, uh, working on someone that was in chronic pain. Um, mostly uh, what I do is not thought to be as essential, but I got permission from the city as well as from my building to be able to have access. And I saw just a few people, all of my staff uh, wasn't able to make it in either. They're not feeling well or they're scared to come in. So uh, I saw a few people that have had uh, horrible chronic pain. And I thought maybe in a small way, this will keep them from having to go to the emergency room and put more of a burden on already an overworked staff. Um, a couple of little updates. And then I'd like to uh, talk today about the incubation period. It's just a short video today, but um, you know, discuss what the actual range is for uh, incubation period. Just a little update again, as I said, it's March 26th today. And um, as you can see, if you look at the, the box in the top, um, hmm, how do I point to it? There you go, um, 48, uh, 488,000, is the total cases of infections and 22,000 people have died. Uh, and this is the number from two days ago because I didn't do it yesterday. I didn't put stats up yesterday. So you could see that. And let's go to this chart because I find this one very interesting. Um, so let's start with um, looking at the top box. And the USA is the third ranked country in most infections at 68,594. Uh, we had 383 new cases and our total deaths are, uh, you can see that across in this box, it says 1,036. Um, if you look all the way to the right, still in the top white box, it says, uh, the second to last column says 207 cases in the United States per million of population. So for every million people, there are 207 cases. And if you look the day before, it was 206 cases. Um, so, and that's per million. Now they put a new column on this uh, chart that wasn't there uh, as uh, little as two days ago. And that's the total deaths per million population. So right now the United States is um, three deaths per million. You could see Italy as 124 and China is, have, has been able to flatten that curve. So let's look at the bottom box and you could see how the numbers compare. Um, Spain actually is accelerating with cases right now. So we need to keep an eye on them. And, um, and here again is the, the other area up here, three parts, uh, three people per million. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the New York City numbers and then move on to the incubation period. As of Wednesday, um, which is yesterday, there were more than 38,000 people in the state of New York with COVID-19. Uh, 447 have died. But if we go a little more narrow into New York City, New York City has more than 20,000 infected cases and 366 deaths as of yesterday. Now, also an interesting thought when people talk about New York being the, the new epicenter, 50% uh, of all U.S. cases uh, and nearly one third of U.S. deaths are coming from the New York City area. So um, this was a photograph from the New York Times this morning. And this is actually right outside of Manhattan in an area called Queens and specifically Elmhurst. My um, mother and stepfather lived there for a bunch of years. Uh, now they live in a, right in Manhattan itself. Um, but you could see uh, the lines of people trying to get in and set up outside the hospital is this tent for um, pre-screening before they decide what to do with people. Let's see. So. What is the incubation period? Understand the incubation, incubation period is very important because first of all, we don't know that exact number, but it allow us to know when someone's infected, we can kind of count back to 
we, we can get a bracket around the time that they were exposed to the time they're expressing symptoms. And um, this helps us decide how long people need to be quarantined, how long they need to be extremely careful to be away from others. And with uh, two or three videos ago, I talked about a new symptom with a uh, loss of sense of taste and smell, which is often coming on with no other symptoms. So someone is not expressing shortness of breath, they're not expressing coughing, uh, fatigue, fever, but they have just a loss of sense of taste or loss of sense of smell. And, um, and if they discover that, they could self-quarantine if they haven't done that already and try to track when they were last possibly exposed and narrow in with de little detective work um, according to knowing what the possible incubation period is uh, when they might have gotten sick. Also, they can keep track if they're not able to get tested. Uh, they can keep an eye on when other symptoms might arise. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this was last updated actually uh, two weeks ago, but it's the best I could find on this. Um, two to 14 days is what's considered uh, average or normal for COVID-19. Um, let's look at the, the second bullet point. Uh, there has been outliers of as much as 27 days that the Hubei province in China reported. Uh, in addition, uh, in the Journal of American Medical Association, JAMA is the name of the publication, they said that they also observed a 19-day case. But for the most part, it's 2 to 14 days. And um, uh, here's a, a study that the Chinese did where they uh, published it again in the uh, New England Journal of Medicine, a prestigious medical journal. And in their study, they showed that their average was 5.2 days on average. And they're looking at a bigger body of people or a bigger database, which is very helpful because if you look at just a small database of uh, people, then you don't really get an accurate average. So they were saying that of the group that they studied, the median, median age is 59 years old, 56% were male, um, and it averaged, uh, the incubation period was 5.2 days. And this, just to give you an idea, let's see, let me get out of the way here. Um, it's saying uh, what I just said, which is the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, is 2 to 14 days. Um, SARS was 2 to 7 days. MERS was 5 days. Swine flu is 1 to 4 days. And a typical seasonal flu is 2 days from time of exposure to expression of symptoms. So um, let me know how you're doing. Um, Say hello in the comments and subscribe if you feel like it. I also have a chiropractic channel that might be fun to watch once in a while and uh, Instagram that's very active. So um, today's my birthday and I'm trying to keep this one light today and just enjoy the day. I'm about to get a little exercise in and um, just enjoy the day as much as I can. Please stay well and safe. Thank you.